is 16 over 7 rational or irrational? The answer might surprise you. I don't know. You tell me. Up there? One of, one of those sides. Get real. Be rational. He has a point. Get over it. You go on forever. So do you. Some numbers aren't rational, even when they should be. I'm looking at you, one-seventh and three-quarters. But what about this one? This is how it might appear on the ACT. Is the product of radical 16 and four-sevenths rational or irrational? There's two yeses, two noes, and one yes and no? Hmm. Makes me, makes me kind of think. Here's why the answer surprises a lot of students. A lot of students go and they, 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 they take the number radical 16. They, they figure out, oh, it's 4. They take the number 4 7. Well, it's 4 7. They put it in their calculator. They got 16 over 7. Great. That's where the title of the video came from, by the way. And then they say, well, let me, let me press enter to get the decimal expansion. And they see this decimal expansion. They don't see a pattern. And they're like, well, it's irrational. Hmm. Some of you might be catching the mistake right there already. Something went wrong there. In all seriousness, my motivation for doing this video is I was watching a video with, with something like 27,000 views and the video said, well, they got the question wrong. And 27,000 students saw that video. I've even spoken to other adults and they're like, no, the video's right, no it's not. I'm not gonna see who it was, I'm not gonna call them out. But I even talked to a lot of other people and they just couldn't answer the question. Adults, they couldn't answer the question. Talked to a bunch of kids, they couldn't answer the question. And if my job is to create nerds, hashtag nerd is a compliment, then I have to tell you how to do this problem. So what do you think the answer is? I hope you answered the survey question so far. Don't be afraid to be wrong. Being wrong right now is the first step to being right for the rest of your life. So what's, what's the deal with this? Two, two definitions of rational numbers. One, a rational number is a number that can be written as a ratio of two integers. Another definition, different definition. A rational number is a number that can be written as a terminating or repeating pattern decimal. That's why they chose these numbers for this question. They want you to recognize that seeing a ratio of two integers is enough to say, this number is rational. So what's the pattern here? Let's look at it closely. 2.285. Six. Something almost wants to repeat. Something has to repeat. And seven is such a small number that the pattern has to be small. 2.285714. If the next numbers are 285714, then the calculator rounds to eight, then the next number is a five, but the one after that is a seven. So the five gets rounded up to a six. Adults see that and they say irrational. They see the 16 over 7 and they still say irrational. That's why you have to be smarter than us. You have to know the definitions better than we do. Neither radical 16, which is 4, and 4 over 7 is irrational. The first one, if you multiply two fractions, you just multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators, and you're done. You can simplify if you want to, if you're required to, if you need to, but that's it. So you can totally multiply fractions and you get a fraction back. So the product of two rational numbers is rational. It's definitely choice A. I hope you got it right. It means that you're thinking rationally. Uh, guys, my job is to get you the highest grade possible on the ACT. The way to do that, click on one of the links, click on one of the videos. It's on one of the sides. Click on one of the videos. Just click on one of, there's gonna be a playlist. Click subscribe. All right, bye, bye, I said enough.